crowd here have been shouting for a free and for a united Ukraine. That's been one of the main chants. They've also been shouting, Putin, hands off Ukraine. Uh, they are concerned, people I've been talking to, about the chance that this country could be divided. And uh, a lot of young people here are very concerned about their future. I, uh... Uh, patriotic girl. I think that Ukraine must be uh, uh, only uh, uh, united uh, Ukraine, <laughs> uh, and uh, Russian uh, must uh, go home. <laughs> I think that uh, today uh, it will be a peaceful demonstration because uh, look to these people. Everybody is smiling uh, and uh, fl flocks of Ukraine. The crowd have been chanting and singing all the way up the street here. They've been shouting for a united Ukraine. They say we are united and we can't be defeated. And uh, some pretty crude chants as well about President Putin. He's not a popular man with this crowd at all. They've been shouting Putin go home and a lot of other things that can't be repeated. So far, the march is peaceful, though uh, there are riot police accompanying them all the way. They're planning to march around a kilometre up the street here uh, to a local shopping centre. It suddenly turned nasty here. There's pro-Russian groups here with metal bars, with baseball bats. And it's a big crowd. They're following the pro-Ukrainian demonstrators up the street. The riot police are letting a lot of them pass, even though they're trying to keep the street itself closed. There's lots of these pro-Russian groups, young men, most of them, with big sticks, and they're getting around the sides. 